Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading. Every weekend on BBC World News. The Travel Show, sponsored by Turkish Airlines. Hello, this is Impact. I'm Yalda Hakim. Aerial footage from Tonga shows the devastation caused after a volcanic eruption triggered a tsunami. At least three people are confirmed to have died. We have seen that there are a lot of uh, extreme damages uh, on the ground and we have seen that the airport and most part of the main island where the capital is, it's been covered with the uh, volcanic ash. We'll be speaking live to the Regional Director of the International Committee of the Red Cross for the latest. Boris Johnson denies claims made by his former top advisor that he waved aside warnings of a planned drinks party at Downing Street during the first coronavirus lockdown. US airlines warn of catastrophic disruption to travel if 5G technology is permitted near airports. That's all coming up here on Impact. Three people are now known to have died following the eruption of an underwater volcano near Tonga. In a disaster, the government there has called unprecedented. There are fears that ash could contaminate the island state's water supply. And ash cloaking the runway of the main airport has been hampering efforts to deliver aid. Our correspondent Howard Johnson has this report. A state of emergency has been declared by the Tongan authorities. And here's why. Newly released images captured by an Australian surveillance flight show badly damaged buildings, knocked over shipping containers.